Hello guys, uh, welcome to Living with Peacemaker week 29 or 28.5, I forget which one I'm on now because I'm losing track. This is basically a 0.5 episode for you guys, is because the reason why is what I don't actually cover in the first part and quite honestly sometimes I do them, sometimes I don't, it just depends how I feel in the covering of the week from Friday to Friday. And quite honestly, this is necessary to have a 0.5 this week. Obviously, um, I've got Blu-rays to show you guys towards my collection. Other than that, have you noticed? My glasses have finally fucking come. They've finally come. I can actually see you once again. So there is a new glimmer of hope. Um, going forward now I can actually see and I've actually got my heart medication so that's all sorted uh, my blood test came back towards obviously my excessive sweating I, I'm i normal great what do I do guys you know I've been living with this problem for a while now um, I don't know why I'm Technically, sometimes my odour is stronger than normal. I've changed my diet. I've tried everything. I've tried all lotions and potions. It's really frustrating. But, it is what it is, guys. It does depress me, granted. I'm sorry, I can't say that, really, because I'm not actually that depressed as I used to be. Um, it gets me down, thinking about it now. Because, obviously, I'm sitting here recording this. I'm going to be sweating buckets. And quite honestly, I have a bath every day, I wash myself, I do everything like a normal person would, change the socks, change the underwear, well I can't say underwear because obviously I don't wear any, for obvious reasons because of my pins in my legs and obviously where the inner thigh where the skin rubs, it rubs against the pin and it's horrible, you know, I'll get a sweat rash and it's horrible as it is, so I'm on, to be honest I'm on my wits end with it, you know, I've got a but there is a new hope anyway, at least one thing I can see properly now, I can see people's comments properly now, and uh, try and respond them as best as I can. So, looking forward, it's going really, really well for me. Um, staying positive, staying as you do, uh, I've been applying for more jobs, I even applied for a job that advertised within half an hour last night for... A job in my city hopefully I get back in they get back in touch with me um one of the things I want to actually say it feels weird looking at my laptop completely with every part visible that I can actually see quite honestly it just every letter everything I do get quite emotional over it because people don't realize when you haven't had glasses in a while you um struggle to see quite how clear that the normal person would see and to be honest people should cherish your glasses now this ain't a sponsored video but I'm drinking aloe vera juice with strawberry so bear with me guys I'm really really parched I've just come back from the job centre um, back there again next Tuesday but guys there is a uh, new hope for me now I can actually see advertisements perfectly even though it's took them three weeks to do my glasses you know so there is a new vision a new hope for me now so going forward I've already talked my beer blog this morning I, to be honest sometimes I think does this actually fucking work or does it not tell you what it fucking works when I couldn't take them you feel the fucking difference I tell you my chest felt completely solid as a fucking rock no, but whew, this hot weather here in the United Kingdom, no bullshit here. But going forward, though, with this channel, it gives me a platform to vent if I feel frustrated. I can actually talk to some people. When they say it's good to talk, I always offer my services to listen to other people. Why is my half of the face glowing? God, that's highly frustrating. You know, it's just the glare off something. I don't know why it's off. Obviously, this sun before anyone says it, still. 
I look like half of me an angel, half of me a devil. <laughs> devil. But still, it's great to have you, your guys' feedback and um, what I actually blow, but I can persevere with it now. I can actually get on with my life properly. You know? It's been a long time coming, I know. It's like first week in July and it, it's took me this long to make my decisions in life. I know. Took me never this long, but still. But anyway, what I'm saying to you guys is I've rambled on for near enough five and a half minutes. Um, onto the Blu-rays that I've picked up. This week, I've literally raided the fucking pound shop. Normally, our pound shop is normally no bullshit here. It's one of the hardest places to buy Blu-rays. Because sometimes they don't have them. When they have them, they have crap titles. I'm not one of these guys that picks up any title. Yeah, that looks good. Um, quite honestly, and then put it back. But anyway, the, technically, my sister bought me these. But, but she rated them for me, which is even better. They're about each as well. So, imagine how much if I was buying these brand Not brand No, I mean, imagine if they, I bought these. When they first came out, you know, they were between 20, 15 and 20 quid when they first came out. But the first one I'm going to be showing you is another HUD. Right? Obviously, it's a British comedy. To be honest, um, this I was highly impressed with. Even though it's not falling on the franchise towards kid adulthood or etc. like that. But it's, it's still a good title, even though it's got some of the cast members from... Um, thingy, another uh, kid or hood and adult hood. One of my favourite actors that I wanted to co start collecting with um, is obviously Matthew McConaughey, uh, the Dallas Buyers Club. Um, I've seen this m movie ages ago. The thing is, as people may or may not know, I'm a sucker. For um, true story, so this one I watched when it first came out. I, th I think someone lent it me. I can't remember exactly. Someone thinks it's fun to play a fucking music. Please don't I'll give me a copyright strike. I hope my mic does not pick it up. My mic's pretty good at that, actually. To be honest, with no background noise. But anyway, I love Matthew McConaughey mu movies. Another movie, the amount of weight he lost for this role, it's worth a watch. To tell you the truth, guys, I've not even watched all my collection yet, as of yet. It's obviously the hot weather, and the World Cup, and job hunting. One of my favourite comedian actors of all time is no other than Jim Carrey in Yes Man. I'm looking forward to watching this again, I've not watched it in some time. Um... One thing I want to actually say is there's actually rumours and speculations that Jim Carrey signed to do um, Dr. Robotnik in the Sonic movie. Now, obviously we know full well that Sonic's going to be the computer-generated character and Jim Carrey. We know how talented Jim Carrey is from the Riddler to the Mask to everything. Everything that he's done. So this could actually rekindle his career. He was an A-lister back in the early 90s and still fan favourite of mine and numerous of people when he brought the likes of Dumb and Dumb and 2 back so I'm looking forward to watching this and quite honestly I'm glad I've got this in my collection I want to get all Jim Carrey movies on Blu-ray at some point even though it might take me a while because some of them are really expensive and I don't even know if they're on our region or the region 3 next one one of my favourite black comedians is um, Kevin Hart and Ice Cube in Ride Along. I personally, I'm going to say this point blank range, I haven't got number two yet, but I'm glad I've got this one into my collection. The thing is with Kevin Hart, I can never keep up with his movies, which is a good thing. It keeps me chasing and looking online, and I would love to get all his movies and all his live DVDs that he's actually released towards my collection. Everyone has actually seen this movie. If you haven't, it's a really, really funny slapstick humour one. I'm hoping next year or the year after Ride Long 3 comes out. So going forward. 
Next one is actually one thing that actually caught my eye if this was actually a chip flake and it's actually brand new factory seal. Is going the distance with um, Drew Barrymore and uh, Justin Long. I'm looking forward to watching this one because I've seen the trailer and, um, not that long ago and by, by fluke it was in the pound shop. So. And it by the looks of it, it's a triple play. The old way they used to do the triple plays. Which is even more of a bonus. So, good on Pound Shop. Pound Shop have been phenomenal with Blu rays if you see them. Like, that's why I've picked them up like, recently. So, looking forward to watching that one. Quite an amazing collection now, so far. And you guys have. It's a double, pl triple play. I don't know if the codes are still valid. At some point, I will put all the codes out in one video for first come, first serve for you guys. Another one is obviously Due Date with uh, Robin Downey Jr. I've not actually seen this movie, but I like the stuff that... Um, I can never pronounce his name. Him from The Hangover, the one with the beard, which I still need to get the hangovers. Um, I'm actually, I like stuff that he's actually in. Because he's actually a brilliant comedian, the way he delivers it. But the way I've heard the chemistry in this is really, really funny. So I'm looking forward to watching this. Probably later on tonight or whenever. So, yeah. I've got due date. I can't believe that's a triple play, guys. You know, I don't bother with the digital downloads. So, a British comedy that I... Um, seen this i like nick frost obviously in the likes of hot fuzz and i'm looking forward to seeing what he can actually do with wrestling my my family it's going to be an interesting take towards um page's live story from the wwe when that actually comes out so i'm actually looking forward to watching that at some point i hope it gets a cinema release because i might go to cinema or wait till it comes out on blu-ray or I might buy it on blu-ray straight away you know i've said that about three titles so far this year ready player one Welcome to the Jungle, and the one that I just said, Wrestling With My Family. Um, but this one, this looks really, really funny. I love my British slapstick humour that's actually in this. One of the women that's actually in this, I think she was in Smack the Pony, if I recall. Any old school British com uh, comedy fans would know who she is. It looks like him with the IT crowd that's in it. Um, Lovejoy's in the guy from I think the guy from Lovejoy's in this. I could be wrong. Oh, it's him from Phone Jacker. He's in this. Didn't realise that guy's until now. Um, but looking forward to watching that. I love my British comedies, as you know full well. Still not got round to connect uh, connecting. Uh, Squashing them down. Another highly romantic comedy I'm looking forward to watching is obviously Killers with Ashton Kutcher. Ashton Kutcher to me is blossomed in so many ways towards movies that I like. Even TV shows. I liked him in that 70s show. I liked him in um, The Guardian. That showed his personally best movie credibility to diverse away from the comedy situation um, we don't see much of him nowadays in films which kind of sucks but it is what it is but he's definitely coming on leaps and bounds so I've got the uh, killers now this is proper nostalgia to say they had this in the pound shop one of my favourite musicals of all time Rock of Ages. Everyone knows I love my rock music. And this is the extended version. So I'm looking forward to watching this. Um, quite honestly. And seeing the likes of Tom Cruise in this. Obviously as you know for well. I'm a Tom Cruise fan. I love his movies. I love what he does. Cocktail. Mission Impossible. Night and Day. American Made. Which I've not added into my collection. Numerous of films have not added into my collection. What he's actually done. But I am glad this is in my collection. It's crazy that Catherine Zeta-Jones is in this. You've got an all-star cast. You know, absolute. Even Russell Brand's in this. Which, going back 
looking at it, you don't realise it's him. Well, you do realise it's him, if you know what I mean, but you don't realise looking back, you've watched something of a classic. Obviously, this was the reason why I say it. it's nostalgia other than the music. Look, next rental copy. You don't fucking get rentals anymore. To say that. You know, it just shocks me how much, when you look back at classic movies, like, when the fuck was this release on rental? When the fuck did they do a rental shop when this was out? But it just shows you some way of form, the way it is, but it is what it is. Another genre of movie that I love is dance movies and this one caught my eye B Girl so I thought I'd pick that up um, the trailer looked very interesting it's about a girl that basically gets stabbed and her parents didn't want to go back to the hood so she had to move somewhere else and all her love for dancing so is it just me that she looks like Carmella from WWE it'd be quite ironic if it was her after all this time but Looks an interesting movie. I like the step up movies. I like um, other things as well. Another movie that I picked up is uh, License to Wed with Robin Williams. The late great Robin Williams. Another fantastic loss. Don't say that in a bad way, Gav. Um, Tragic loss, the way he died. A fantastic actor. I'm looking forward to adding more Blu rays. I want to get all his movies, as you know full well, I'm a sucker for comedies, and this one is one of my favourites that he ever did, before his passing. I liked his drama movies as well. Now, this one is the first one. I did like this movie, I like, I've, obviously you've seen the Transformers already in my collection, but I've got another Michael Bay movie, is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I'm glad I got this because I was a fan of these growing up. Not the film itself. Obviously, I want to get the cartoon at some point to add towards my collection. Um, I was a fan of the Turtles growing up, and that's what started my addiction towards pizza. You know, and no, no bullshit to you. Michelangelo is my favourite of all time because he was a surfer dude. I've always liked Michelangelo. Never going to change it. And he was the one who was the com comedic one of them all. So that's the first uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the newer version. Um, hoping to do a third one because it's the Turtles for fuck's sake. It's nostalgia, you know. A lot of people may have didn't like it, but I liked it. Couples Retreat with Vince Vaughn. I thought I'd pick this up because I watched it on Channel 5 um, a couple of months ago, in fact, and I liked it. So I thought, you know what, add that into my collection. If you've never seen it, it's worth watching. It is it's funny, slapstick humour. I finally got some Despicable Me. I finally took the plunge and bought Despicable Me. As you know full well, I'm, when you've seen my last collection... You actually see me pick up minions. So now I've got Despicable Me towards my collection. Everyone knows full well about that. So I don't need to talk that much about it. And I had to get this. Uh, it's quite funny to say this was in the pound shop. Yeah. I bought KSI's movie to support a friend. Even though it went to the pound shop. Back pocket. But still. To be honest I enjoyed this movie. When I first started, the cheeky bastards didn't even give me the poster. Never mind. That's a good selling point. You say there's a poster and you don't even give us the poster. But it doesn't matter about that. Even the digital copy is not even in there. So you can't win them all. Little pound chop. Sometimes they give you them, sometimes they don't. I don't know if they're valid or what. But anyway, this just reminds me of American Pie, and that's why I enjoyed it. I watched it when it first came out. I did a review of it years ago. Obviously, my channel has been wiped since, but still. 
it's a good movie, worth picking up. And JJ, for fuck's sake, if you're watching this, your movie's ended up in the pound shop, dude. Need to do a second one of that, the way it ended. Another comedy I liked uh, with Melissa McCarthy. Highly underrated um, movie, even though a lot of people liked it. Bear with me, guys. Oh, people say it's rude to eat and drink on camera. Fuck you, it's my channel. But anyway, Identity Thief, Melissa McCarthy. Yeah, the films can be quite very samey, but Identity Thief is one of my favourites. I couldn't stop laughing at this. I was laughing out loud. Fucking hilarious. They need to do a sequel of this, just to the way it ended. If anyone's seen it, obviously if you haven't, she st steals his identity, they become, become friends. The end. You know, I spoiled the movie for you. But, don't go by that. Just watch the film. It's worth a watch. I love M Melissa McCarthy. She's one of my favourite female comedians. Um, going around the circuit on the movies. I'm looking forward to a new one with the puppets. That's very not her sort of style movie. She's definitely gone a bit rated R on that. And um, I think it's got 18 stickers as well. Bear with me. Still got more Blu-rays, guys. Then I took the plunge to buy Despicable Me 2. Says it all, don't it? If I want the first one, might as well get the second one. Need to get the third one as well. And then obviously the Minions movie. This one I took a risk on because this looks... Um, Interesting because it's got him from Skins. I liked him in Unbreakable. So. Uh, I'm just intrigued about this one. I think this is the one where people actually highly rated it. And I love the black. The bl is that the ca camo colour or black? It's shiny, what you expect. It looks black. But it's nice, the colour contrast. With the ca camo co um, camouflage green. Corgi Green or whatever they call it nowadays. But still, it's a war film. It's like me, like I said, I'm a sucker for... Um, not war films as such, but if it's a true story, I'll pick it up to watch it. So I'm really look, sinking my teeth, looking forward to sinking my teeth into this one. It's 100 minutes long, and it's a Blu-ray for a pound. That's why I like Pound Shop when you can take a big risk. I would not buy that outright. People know the most I'll ever spend on Blu-rays. It's probably a fiver if I'm lucky to pick them up for that price. Now, a classic movie that I loved with Ja Rule and Steven Seagal. I want to start collecting Steven Seagal movies. But, you know what's annoyed me? They announced him for London Film Comic Con last week. Steven Seagal at London Film Comic Con. I can't fucking go and it's this fucking weekend or the weekend after. I forget which one it is, but fucking pissed me off that ass. Because he's, he's one of those guys that I want to meet in the movie industry that I grew up watching before my own age. Before I was at the age of 18. Nico, I love that movie. Um, Under Siege 1 and 2. Under Siege 1, best bet. The stripper and the cake. No, the stripper. Not in the cake. Thinking of another film. Joking. But if I looked at pictures of now, still worth a fap over it. But anyway, I've watched this on VHS. I've watched it on DVD. I used to have it on DVD. I used to have all his movies before I sold them like a dick. Now I've got it back on Blu-ray, so I'm looking forward to sinking my teeth and putting my eyes onto this. Now I can see clearly! Luckily enough, it's not kick-off yet, guys. I'm recording this at half past four in the afternoon. Look at me. But I'm looking forward to watching that. Not bad for a quiz. This one I'm looking forward to. No, it's not fucking porn before anyone says it. It's 
Spring Breakers. It's, I think it's actually a true story, if I recall. That's a double play by the looks of it. Bonus. I can lend this to my sister if she wants to borrow it, but it looks really, really good. I like the look of the trailer. It's one of those different sort of style, but I've got to admit, no brass tacks about it. Got a fucking great cast, haven't they? Selena Gomez. I'm not being funny. From a Disney child to now, I'll do it. You know, I'm looking at the fucking cast in this that looks really good. Um, like I said, I looked up a trailer of this a while back. I'm looking forward to watching this. Now, I would say he's the world's best player at the moment. So many times he's linked to go back to Manchester United. No bullshit. I'm sick of hearing it. If he does come back to United, I'll be fucking happy as Larry. Who the fuck is Larry? Whoever fucking said that saying. But is this how far you've come? From being in the World Cup to being knocked out by Uruguay. Now his movie's... In the fucking pound job. Battle of Depression. Here we come. Ronaldo. Love documentaries as well as true stories. So I'm looking forward to watching this. I need to get the fucking Amy one and the Senna one. I don't watch Formula One. But I, I grew up watching Formula One when my granddad was around. When Nigel Mansell, Damon Hill, Edson Senna. Everything. This is from the makers of Amy. So... This is going to be an interesting one because Amy is the one about Amy Winehouse. If you've not seen it, it's worth a watch. It will move you like a motherfucker. Seriously. I got really choked up. But now they've done one on Ronaldo. True story. I had a chance to go to the premiere of this in Manchester a few years back. I never got around to telling people about this. But obviously at the time I was unemployed, I didn't have no money to get up to Manchester and I got, uh, I entered in a prize draw so I had to give up my tickets, to, I had to send, it, uh, send my tickets back which kind of sucks, I had a chance of meeting Ronaldo. That was the premiere that was in Manchester when you had like all the Manchester United players there, everything. Big is error of my life. But... Ronaldo, I get to see your documentary at long last. Another one I've got. I think I've got three more. I had to pick up Hot Fuzz like I, was, I mentioned that earlier on. One of my British comedy movies. So I had to pick that up, quite honestly. So... That's in my collection. I need to get Paul as well. Now this one I picked up because I'll not because it's a WWE movie because it's made by WWE is the call. I liked it when it when it came out. I watched it on DVD. I forget who I watched it based it based it borrowed it off and watched it and. Quite honestly, fantastic movie. This one I've seen before, I've not seen in some time, so it'd be worth watching once again. It's 21 and over. Obviously, everyone knows full, knows full well. It's like that from the writers of The Hangover, so you need to watch this. And believe, it's one of those situation comedies. And it'd be so nice if they actually did a second one and a third one, you know, like the, the, the numerous of American Pies, which I need to get on Blu-ray at some point. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to watching that. Did I say it? Yeah, that's my Job Seekers book. I don't need to show you that. And obviously, something random to show to fill up the time on this video. I've got a fucking new mobile phone charger. So, wow. Done well for myself on movies. Pick them up without dropping them, Gaff. Please do. Think. Alright, what well, I've just spent. 
Well, my sister's technically spent them. Just think, imagine if I bought those all brand new from HMV. That just shows you. But, if you look around, comes around. At least one thing America's got, like the Dollar Tree, I think that's their version of pound Poundland here in the United Kingdom. Um, but anyway, guys, thank you ever so much for tuning in. But until next time, guys, catch you guys soon for another video right here exclusively on YouTube.com. You know what to do. Hit that subscribe button and obviously all down below. Please, 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 please support me on my social media outlets, even if it's through my Twitter, Daily Motion, Facebook page, Patreon, Snapchat. Kick Messenger. End of the day, you guys will keep blowing me away with the support you guys keep giving me. But until next time, catch you guys soon.